Is the state of Illinois going to confiscate millions of guns? in the coming months. At this point, no one can buy banned assault style weapons in the state. Starting today, those who own and purchased prior to this year are now required to register those weapons with the state in order to keep them. A year ago, Illinois Governor J.B. Pritzker signed his name on the dotted line after the Senate and House approved a statewide ban on assault weapons and high capacity magazines. We'll find out in just a minute, but first, I need to let you know that we have a gun giveaway going on. It's happening right now. It is absolutely free, but it does end really soon. So all you gotta do is click the link in the description down below to find out which brand new gun you could win. Okay, folks, we've been talking about it for months. The state of Illinois has this new PICA law, Protecting Illinois Communities Act, PICA, boo. Um, we hate this law, but January 1st was the day when everybody needed to register all of the things on the PICA law that, that were registerable. Don't worry. The state of Illinois put together an 85-page PDF with a flow chart to tell people what they needed to register so that they could be in accordance with the law. Well, guess what happened? Nobody, well, not nobody, only 15,000 people registered their items with the state of Illinois. Now we're talking about like 2.4 million firearm owner identification card holders. These are the people who have to register their stuff. And 15,000 of them, that's less than 1%, decided they were going to obey this law. So... Think about this for a minute. Less than 1% of the people decided to follow the law. Now, the state of Illinois has all of their contact information. The FOID cards, those firearm owner ID cards in Illinois, have been around since 1968. And you have to have a FOID card to even touch a gun in the state of Illinois. So everyone who got a FOID card probably has a gun. That's what the state's probably thinking right now. 2.4 million people have FOID cards and only 15,000 registered their stuff. But let's do some math. Hang on a minute. We're going to do some math. Okay. 15,000 people registered some 53 or 54,000 items. So that's like 3.4 items per person. If we math this out all the way to the end, and we just assume that that's the average, that's 8.3 million items, 8.6, 8.3, I can't do the math in my head, it's written down here, but Dylan told me not to look at the screen. So, 8.2 to 8.6 million items are supposed to be registered, and they're not, because the people of Illinois have decided they're not going to follow what they believe is an unjust law, this Protecting Illinois Communities PICA Act that it went into effect immediately. All that stuff was immediately illegal. And then they just gave people a window of opportunity to register their items, mostly semi-automatic rifles. I mean, I, I looked at this document, this 85-page document. Every single variation of AR-15 is on that document. And there's all sorts of other things. There's a whole flow chart that was like, does your gun have a detachable magazine? Yes. Is the detachable magazine greater than 10 rounds? No. It, and works its magic all the way through this flow chart. And the end result is that the people of Illinois said, nope, we're not following this law. And interestingly enough, you can bet that all of these Chicago area gang members probably don't have FOID cards. The places where crime is just running rampant in Illinois those criminals are not FOID cards. They're not card-carrying gun owners. They're criminals. They're not following the law anyway. But now, this Illinois Protect Illinois Communities Act, this PICA law, is targeting the people who have already signed up for a FOID card and told the state, yes, I want to get a gun. Yes, I have a gun. Here's my name, address, and phone number. Here's how you can get in touch with me. I want to have a gun. Now the state has made all of this stuff illegal. Millions of items are illegal in the state of Illinois right now. 
And these people are now felons for not complying with the law. And the state has everything they need to go and confiscate their guns. Think about this. Of course, you know, the name, address, and phone number, you're on the government list. You're on the government list every time you buy a gun. Don't let anybody fool you. But now the state of Illinois has the law on its side because people haven't registered. So do you think the state of Illinois, the Illinois State Police, are going to start going house to house looking for guns that might need to be registered? I think that could get pretty ugly, and I hope to God that everybody who sees any of this stuff pulls out their phone and captures it all on video, because I want to see what happens when the state goes after law-abiding citizens who have done nothing wrong except own a firearm. That, that's it. They haven't committed any other crime. They just own a gun that state officials put on a list and said this gun is now illegal. This could open up an entire can of worms because think about this. In order to search someone's house, you got to get a search warrant and you got to have probable cause to get a search warrant. Is your FOID card probable cause? Because you have a FOID card, could the court assume you probably have a gun? And of the 15,000 people who registered their items, they registered some 55,000 items. So each person registered three items. Could they then assume that you probably have more than one? Would that give them enough probable cause to get a search warrant to come search your house? This is going to be an interesting problem, but what it does, more importantly for me, it absolutely proves that registration leads directly to confiscation. And these politicians, these anti-gun politicians, they're playing the long game. They started with the Foyd card in 1968, said, don't worry about it. Just sign up, get the card. Everything will be fine. We're not going to do anything. Now it's 2024. Now they're poised to do something about it. And they just keep chipping away at your Second Amendment rights. Slowly, over time, chip by chip, drip by drip, they're just taking away piece by piece. Now we're seeing the end result of it in the state of Illinois, and we're about to see what could happen now that the state has finally been able to put all of the pieces in place. They got the entire list of gun owners over here starting in 1968, and they didn't do anything with it. They just forced people to get that FOID card. They didn't do anything with it at first. Then 2023 came around, and they passed this onerous law. And then they said, you know what? You have until January 1st, 2024 to register all these items. And if you don't, you're in trouble. Well, now they put all the pieces together. Can they go and get these guns? It's also shocking to me that less than 1% of the gun owners in Illinois followed this law, but anti-gun politicians still keep getting elected in Illinois. So, yeah, there's only 2.4 million FOID card holders in Illinois. So maybe all the rest of the people in that state are anti-gun. I don't think so. I, I don't understand how anti-gun politicians keep getting elected to implement these crazy laws. And again, piece by piece by piece, they're putting them in place so that now they have all the legal framework in place to come in and say, yep, I can take your guns. They know who the FOID card holders are. And they can assume, based on that, that these FOID card holders own guns. Now these guns are illegal. And of all the people who registered their items, each person registered three. There's probably a, a high probability. I think um, folks did the math saying there's probably more than 500,000 unregistered AR-15s right now in Illinois. Is the Illinois State Police going to start going house to house looking for those guns? And why are they not going house to house in the highest crime areas looking for illegal guns? Well, that's because they have a list of where the legal guns are. And the easiest thing to do is to go scoop up all the legal guns. But you know what that does? It just disarms honest law-abiding citizens who now have no way to fight back against ruthless, violent criminals who have proven time and time again they don't care about the law and they don't care about people. 
So yeah, Illinois has the opportunity right now to start widespread gun confiscation. I'm waiting to see what's going to happen. This could get ugly very, very quickly. I hope that the state of Illinois doesn't decide that they're going to go looking for all of the stuff, that they're going to go to every FOID card holder's house and say, hey, you got a FOID card, but you didn't register anything. We're going to take a look and see what you got. This is the kind of stuff, this is where liberty goes to die right now. The state of Illinois are passing these laws and they got all the stuff in place. Now it's just a matter of time. And who knows, maybe they'll wait two or three or four years. They waited 40 some years between the introduction of the FOID card and then the idea that they're going to confiscate firearms. So folks, this is something to watch. The state of Illinois, not a friend to any gun owners. And now we're right on the verge of confiscation that could spark all sorts of craziness. This is almost unprecedented in the United States, except for back in the 80s, I think it was like 1982 or 83, something like that, the city of Morton Grove, Illinois, outside Chicago, banned all handguns, just said, nope, you can't own them. That was eventually thrown out, but th that was an ordinance in a city in Illinois telling people that they couldn't have handguns, they had to turn them in or get them out of the city, and for which they would receive no compensation if they turned them in. So again, some of the craziest laws in the country are coming out of Illinois. And this is the kind of stuff where voters have to get involved and the courts have to get involved and we've got to watch closely what's going to happen there. So if this works in Illinois, if this goes unchallenged in Illinois, you can see the dominoes ready to fall. States like New Jersey and New York and Washington State, probably California, things like that. These, these laws, if they go unchallenged in Illinois, they're going to spread across the country slowly but surely. We need people to get involved. We need to stop this at the ballot box. I don't want any of this to become violent. We need to vote anti-gun politicians out. We need to become politically active and stop this garbage. We need to be watching for which groups are going to sue the states with these laws. Gun Rights Policy Coalition and other groups like that. Um, gun owners of America, you know the lawsuits are coming. Get behind them and help out. Help out to stop this stuff before it gets any worse. Because you know what? When rights go away, they don't ever come back. And it might take decades like it did in Illinois from the Floyd card now to the point of confiscation. You're going to see crazy stuff happening. And, and I don't want it to spill over to the rest of the states. Before you go, you just missed one of our best videos that got over a half a million views. Click right here to watch it now.